Hello there, I am Giant Grodel, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Earthbound. Yeah! So I'm not sure if this is gonna be my ninth Let's Play or my tenth Let's Play. Um, I'll put text of ways showing, telling you guys what Let's Play number this will be, because I think I've had, I've recorded something else, another project and stuff, so we'll have to see if that one beats it or if it goes after this one, after Earthbound. Earthbound, the war against Gygas. Yeah. So I've been wanting to do this game for a while, and I've heard this is a really good game. I played like up to two Tucson basically, and I want to actually do it for a project on my channel and hopefully beat it. Now this won't be 100%. It's an it's a let's play, so that's why it's a let's play. It's not gonna be 100% because I heard from Matt Pissword that the like certain there's this big point in the game where it's really hard and it's hard to get 100%. So yeah, Earthbound came out in 1994. Yeah. Wait, did I read that right? Because that came out in 1995. Huh. Yeah, here's the previews, which I guess we can show that much, but I want to keep it all surprised because I haven't even I haven't even got to that point honestly in the game. I know that's the part of the game too. So I did have a practice file. I got to like level two, just to make sure that, like the emulator was working on that. I'm, I'm using an emulator on this one on this game, so I can play it on my mom's and my dad's. Record it on my mom's and my dad's. You just use my laptop, my Asus gaming laptop, or my Asus laptop. You know. It's not really a gaming laptop, but it's a really good laptop. So it is. So yeah. Let's start the game. Um, tech speed fast. Uh, select stereo because I want two channels coming out from the left and right here. <laughs> what, um, which style of windows do you prefer? I just like plain, but here's mint, here's strawberry, here's banana, here's peanut. But I like plain. It looks the best to me. It's just all like, oh, classic white, I guess. Black and white. So plain flavor. Um, I'm just gonna go by, um, what their actual names are. So I'll just say, like, don't care, don't care, don't care. So that one's Nest. This one's Paula. Okay. This one's gonna be named Jeff. And here's Pooh. <laughs> Which we'll get to these characters later on in the game, of course. Um, the pet's name is King the Dog. K yeah, King's the Dog. And my favorite homemade food, I'll just go with steak because that's the default one. I mean, I want to do all default ones really. Just because I think it's. I like P I like the sound of PK, uh, my rockin', you know, it's my favorite thing. As PK, or PSI rockin', or whatever, which we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit actually. It shouldn't be too terribly long before we get to that all stuff. All of that basically. Okay, so Ness Paula, Jeff Poo, King, my favorite food is steak. My coolest thing is rockin' without it. Well, rockin' without G, because the G doesn't fit. Um, are you sure? Yep. Okay. And then just wow, 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 the echo. The year is 1999. Uh, 1999X, uh, basically. Jeez. <laughs> Or not a small town in Eagle Land. Ness's house. And I'll always try to be uh, quiet during the cutscenes, but I don't know if there's too many too many cutscenes in this um, game anyway, but I'll be quiet during them whenever they happen or if, it, if they will happen more in the future, I guess. So Ness is just sleeping and then... BOOM! A big crash or boom explosion. So here's Pajama Ness. There's a, there's actually, um, you can play as Pajama Ness in Project M actually, which I thought was really cool. Which was a Ness skin basically. I remember my, this is my room basically, that's really cool I guess. So let's go outside of our room, the lights will turn on magically. <laughs> and then let's go in our sister's room. This is our sister's room. I'm just gonna get here to I'm just in here to really to get the cracked bat, which we'll actually need. Uh, okay, um check I guess, yeah. Ness open the present, the, there's a cracked bat inside, Ness takes it. And if I um yeah, equipped it's our first weapon in the game that you can equip. You'll get better weapons later on in the game, I know that for sure. So, um because I was actually seeing people play this game, like let's let's plays and stuff. Um, let's talk to our sister. Hey bro, did that, did the sound wake you up too? Or what, you up? Were you freaked out? Uh, he just woke me up. I wasn't really scared or anything. <laughs> okay, so let's go downstairs, because that's always a good thing to do, I guess. Let's talk to our mom. A king is sleeping, by the way. Uh, what, what's, what's that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And 
you and you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change change out of your pajamas before you go. Jammies. Okay, so here's Ness. He's a he's a really um he's a really um popular character, I guess. You can you can definitely distinct. He's very distinctive. You can point him out in large crowds. You know, this is what Ness really looks like. He has a red hat with um a blue and yellow striped T-shirt, and then um I think just blue shorts, I guess, and then red Converse, I believe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a Converse. Kind of fancy shoes, tennis shoes. Let's talk to King. I forgot that, um, let me try that again. I forgot that you can press like, oh, that's the fast forward button, okay. Okay, no, L is just to do the, um, check thing automatically without having to go to the menu and then selecting it. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Huh, interesting. Let's go outside our house because we're going to explore now. Yeah, we're outside. It's still dark out and stuff. Let's talk to you. What do you have to say? Did you hear that big bang? I, I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm, go I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Okay, you're not moving right now. Ha, huh, I'm beating you. Ness is beating you. Um, okay, you'll hit that. You'll have to click on my R button on my game controller a lot because that's the, the track button. I'm sorry. I don't know. I could have I could have mapped it better, I guess, but I don't know. I, I'm more. I'd rather the L button be the L button, I guess, if that's what it really is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home pronto. And some of the dialogue um, in this game is really funny. Of course, this game came out in the 1990s, so there's gonna be a little bit of a little bit of um, like you know, slang, I guess, from the 90s and stuff, jokes like that. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running, running wild in town. You kids are wandering around and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Oh, poor policeman. Here's another policeman. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if, even if I advise you not to, it won't stop you, will it? Pretty much. Nope, it's not gonna stop me. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a present up there. I'll have to get that in a second. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's another policeman. Let's talk to him. Hey, you. Don't you know what time it is? Yes, I know it's uh time for you to not Bug me. <laughs> oh, that was a bad joke. It wasn't even a joke. Why did I even say that? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna just open the present with the, using the L button. There's a bread roll inside. Ness takes it. Okay. So there's um there's goods. You pick up goods and like I think the bread roll just heals up your HP, which is a pretty good item to have and it's I think it's slightly better than a cookie, which I'll get to that which is another healing item which we'll get very soon. Hey Ness, hey, hiya buddy. A meteorite fell down and w went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always get eat garlic and work out to help me help my help make my body stronger. However, the work the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my da da da. Oh, uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my belt bill billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's a that's my real job, and you know, I'm the billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Sure, why not? Uh, check, I guess. Treasure Hunter. This is the Liar, Liar X Agrant's house. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that name wrong. Okay, here's another placement. Um, that meteorite looks different than usual. Yeah, okay. It's strange and marvelous, and as well as mysterious. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Who are you? Hey Ness, don't be rubnecking. You're getting you're getting in the cu you're getting in the cops. Oops. I mean officer's way. Um, you can go home now. Tomorrow I Pokey will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you'll bug in the officers. And then yeah. Uh, sh sh <laughs> okay. Uh, check it out. Sh clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. Uh, clear out of my way. Out, get my... Whoops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way. <laughs> you said it wrong like the last time. A nice timing, uh, Ness. W will, you d will you do something about Pokey? He's driving us nuts. Are you two friends? Sure we are, yeah. Uh, and you live in the house next to his. I see. Interesting. And if you see right there, it's like a pizza that hit the ground, basically. A pizza, that, a radioactive pizza. Now that's the meteorite. Um, I see a red-headed guy. Sorry, I bumped my desk. My desk. Sorry, that must have probably shook the microphone a little bit. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I see a red-headed guy. Um, 
next to the police officer and they're just like he's like walking jogging in place and the officer's just like st sit, standing still basically so all that we can do really now is just go back home you know it's late we gotta go to sleep uh um ness has a big math test tomorrow Ah, uh, you know it's the usual I'm I'm using one thumb. Uh, I'm using I'm gripping my controller, my controller on the left side with my four fingers, and then I'm using my thumb just to move it around with the D-pad and stuff. And you can actually move diagonally in this game, like I'm doing right now. You can see me nest moving diagonally, which is pretty cool. So that's nice, I guess. That's a long walk home, not really, but um, I don't know. It's I'm tired. It's it's nighttime. I mean, I just want to get to bed. And then, uh, yeah, your mom's st standing right outside of the house. So let's talk to her. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. Um, it's late. Scoot off to bed now. Sure, why not? Later that night. Oh great, we're gonna Jamie's again. Well, we went back to sleep, so that makes sense. Yeah, here's our sister again. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Yeah, that's an annoying knock. <laughs> okay, my land. Um, who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you go answer it? Yeah, you gotta send your um kid to answering a door with a where you hear a mysterious knock coming from. And what if it's like a Person who's got kidnapped me or something, or kidnapped Ness. Oh, look, it's Pokey, I think. Pokey, yeah. Hey, well, listen to what I've got to say. I took. When I took Pokey to the place where the meteorite landed. Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> uh, anyway, as I was saying, the police that, that were guarding the meteorite left. Meteor landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks, they're the local ruffians, and they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I blamed the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. My do my d when my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You, you're my bestest friend. W won't you help me find Picky? Uh. <laughs> nope. If you refuse, I'll say something that will cut you like a knife. Will you come with me? Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. I can't. I can't mug you with that. Okay. Okay. Good, buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Now that's a cliche because that's like a overused saying. Like, let's blow this popsicle stand. Let's roll, boys. Let's get out of here. Let's roll, boys. Let's roll. Ah, cliches. Okay. Before we go, don't you think? Don't. You, why don't you say goodbye? And quotation marks to your mom. Don't you agree, ma'am, ma'am, or ma'am? Okay, let's uh, talk to her then. I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The cracked bat in Trace's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You go for, you'll go for it. Remember to go for it. But I think I should change out of your jam But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Okay, good dear mom. And when when I cool clothes again, yay! I get right, I get to walk in these converse again. My feet get to touch these converse and have fun and walk on this adventure. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's just talk to King first. Oh, I mean, I, sp I fast forwarded. I'm t I thought I was L for a second again. Do you want to go? You want me to go with you? Yes. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Okay. King joined you, so now he's a party member, and that's pretty cool. Okay, let's talk to Pokey then. Alright, you got me in front, and I'll, I'll fall at a safe distance. Okay, let's get going. I like that chime when a party member joins you. Pokey joins you, okay. Um, oh yeah, we have to go to the door first. Yeah. Oh no, it's ringing, the phone's ringing. We have to answer, we have to answer it. Let's answer it. Let's answer the phone. Okay, hello, it's your dad. Work. To enthusiast, work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like that, like this? Maybe I've heard a similar saying actually. Just remember, I'm always behind you, 100%. Don't be afraid. I know you're, you're brave. You can do it. 
Don't forget to call me uh, periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have an ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. <laughs> well, well the, the father of a hero, at least. Wahaha, wahaha. Slam, beep. And I think we can record a progress now. So uh, if we just um, check it again, I guess. Um, that we can call dad, which is a, that's the list of people we can call at the point. Of different points of the game, so that's pretty cool. Ness we picked up the receiver. Ness, it's your dad. We, we, we'll experience to get up to next level. Ness for okay, so it'll tell you how much I think how many experience points to the next level, obviously. And then they'll say if you if you deposited more money in your bank account. Anyways, this isn't nothing. Is there, what do you need from me? I'll record, so I'll save my data. Oh yeah, all done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. Have you created a record of your uh, of your adventure at this point? Good night. Um, I'm gonna just hit end, and we'll go back to the main screen. Actually, well, actually, we won't do that. Actually, <laughs> never mind. I'll just continue. Um, Ness, you will work hard, just like your mother. But I don't think it's a good idea to work too hard. Click beep 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 beep. Okay. So yeah, this has been the end of my Earthbound Let's Play part. The next part will take on. The next uh, segment, uh, which I think is just check out the meteorite and hope we get Pokey or Picky back, actually. It's so hard to get, well, I'm get, kind of getting used to the names, but I have to remember them all or remember some important ones, you know. So this has been Giant Go again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play. <laughs>